When you're creating presentations or any kind of materials for your job, you want them to look as professional as possible. Now, when I'm creating training materials, I tend to pull screenshots directly from the application that I'm demonstrating in. Oftentimes, there's more information than is necessary, and that can distract from my example. I use multiple techniques to remove information and simplify the screenshot. I use Snagit to take my screenshots and clean them up. Now there's a lot of videos out there that will teach you how to use Snagit. This video is a practical demonstration of how to take a somewhat messy screenshot and turn it into something that is clean, easy to read, and draws your viewer's attention to exactly what you intend to share. Let's jump right in. I just grabbed a screenshot from Teams and in this scenario, I wanna show you how to find the Manage Team button. The first thing I wanna point out is the search bar at the top of the screen. It's cut off in the middle and it's not needed for context. I personally don't like this cut off look, so I'm going to take it out. I'm going to use the selection tool and then draw around the search bar. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw your attention to the panel on the right hand side of the screen. This is properties. It's defaulted to transparent, but I'm going to select autofill. What that's gonna do is when I hit the delete key on my keyboard, it's going to remove the search bar and automatically match it to the purple color that's around it. The next thing I like to do is use the simplify tool. I need people to know that I am in teams, but they don't need to know the name of each team on the list. I'd like to draw your attention to the toolbar at the top. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to choose the simplify tool. Snagit will suggest some colors to use based on the colors in the screenshot. For example, I could use the purple color that matches the banner. As a personal preference, I like to use a lighter color because it is less distracting for the person looking at the screenshot. None of these colors are exactly what I want, so I can click on the dropdown for any of the columns and pick my own color. In this case, I think I'll go with this lighter pink. I'm going to continue putting boxes over the information that is not necessary. Now, technically you can use auto simplify, but I like to control exactly what's being hidden. The selection tool is one of my favorites because it helps me remove all kinds of things. Like at the bottom of the screenshot, we've got a partial button here and we've also got a partial paragraph. I know some people, they get so distracted by that. They're like, what is this trying to say? I'm just gonna use the selection tool and make it like it was never there. The next way the selection tool is useful is it can be used to move parts of the screenshot around. I've decided that this section at the top is unnecessary white space. But if I use the cut tool, it will also take out the icons on the left. Those icons are useful for context so that people understand where they are on the interface. Those icons need to stay. The selection tool lets me detach the icons from the screenshot and move them to the side. Now I can cut out the extra team at the top. These icons at the bottom are optional. Not everyone has them. So I will select those and make them go away. Now I can move the call and file button down a little bit to make room for the three buttons I've moved. Now, as a tip, I suggest that you flatten the parts that were moved around. This way you won't accidentally move them out of place as you continue to work with this screenshot. And now people will never know that I removed a team at the top. I'm gonna make some minor adjustments like moving in the edges to remove some white space on the side. This looks a lot better, so now I can use the shape tool to draw the boxes around the key pieces of information. Looking at these screenshots side by side, you can see that the one we worked on is much cleaner and less distracting. I encourage you to go try some of these tips for yourself. If you don't already have Snagit, I've included a link in the description below where you can get a short free trial. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.